Welcome to short review or an overview of a new uh, Leica Geovit HDB 8x56. As you probably know, Leica was the first company to introduce the civil version of a laser rangefinder in a binoculars. This was in uh, 1992. Afterwards, they were also again first which introduced a laser rangefinder in a monocular. And in the recent years, they made quite a few improvements or uh, how to say big leaps forward with their Geovit binoculars, especially with, with the HDB series. They introduced uh, 8x42 and 10x42 uh, two years ago, and now in 2015, they also introduced 8x56, the big model. Uh, this model was not shown either at SHOT Show or uh, EVA, but is normally the first place where you can see new products. It was just, it appeared one day on the, um, on the online page of Leica and there was not much of a hype when it came out, even though I think this is a benchmark in laser rangefind binoculars at the moment. It has a 56 millimeter objective lens, that means that it's much better in low light. What is also interesting is that uh, at Leica they even improved the light transmission rate of this model compared to the first 8x42 HDB models. Uh, when I was in Leica for the first time on dealer training for the HDB binoculars, they said that they will improve um, light transmission rate from uh, from year to year uh, so that this binoculars will get constant improvement and this is definitely the sign of this since this model has a 90% light transmission rate a little bit better than the previous one it also has the poro prism design uh, it's perger poro it's an unusual new type of poro prism and currently these are the only binoculars using this uh, prism design. What is also funny is that this model is not much bigger than the normal 42 millimeter binoculars. I was quite amazed when I saw these binoculars for the first time and compared them. I have seen that 8x56 is, uh, it is a little bit bigger but uh, not as much as I was afraid it will be so This was definitely something what is worth praising at Leica They made 8x56 which is not too big The range in which the laser rangefinder is working is still the same. It's uh, 1825 meters longest range in civil uh, laser rangefinders really astonishing achievement what is even more astonishing is that uh, every measurement takes only 0 0.3 seconds. This is really fast when you compare to other uh, laser rangefinder rangefinders on the market. You see it's really, really quick. It's really hard when you're comparing these devices not to notice how much faster the Leica is. It also has automatically adjustable LED display of, uh, of distance in the field of view in the center and like all other HDB models it has an ABC advanced ballistic uh, compensation software which is very impressive since it takes into account also the slope under which you are measuring the distance it also takes into account air pressure and temperature so it gives you the perfect ballistic correction so that your bullet impact is not too high or too low on a target. Uh, there are 12 different ballistic curves which are already predefined in these devices, but HDB currently is the only one which also offers the 13 ballistic curve. This is yours. You can input all the ballistic data on this small card. You insert it in this compartment where the battery is and then these binoculars will take into account your real ballistic curve. 
I currently think there is no other civil device which will offer this level of accuracy. <clears throat> uh, when you're using your personal ballistic curve, uh, you can always choose so that the HDB gives you the number of clicks you need to dial on a, on a distance which you are measuring at or the holdover you need to take into account or you can also program it, it that it gives you equivalent horizontal range. They also produce model without the ABC uh, software which is um, the same in optics. It's called Type 500 and it's HDR. Um, <clears throat> What is also understandable with this device is that it's made, the housing is made out of uh, magnesium, magnesium alloy. It is filled with nitrogen, so there is no internal fogging at low temperature. The Aquadura coatings are on outer surfaces of the lenses, so the lenses are protected against uh, dust and water and so on. Also a little bit against scratches. What is the most important is that when uh, water comes to the to the lens surface. This aquadura uh, coatings mm, makes water form bigger droplets. So that means that you can still look through the binoculars. They are not completely useless when you get the outer fog due to when you are breathing on the binoculars in the cold weather or similar conditions. There is uh, 118 meters of field of view. In these binoculars, if we look at the features, we can see that the opters can be set on both eyes. This is necessary due to the fact that there is internal LED display and when setting the diopter setting for each eye, you can achieve a clear view of LED display and at the same time clear view of the objects you are viewing. Um, the eye cups or eye pieces offer I think seven different positions they're really a prime example of a premium eye pieces on a binoculars really well made they offer great support if, so it's really easy to use these binoculars either with glasses or without them um, what is also interesting is that uh, the focusing knob is really soft and really precise the same feeling in both directions I only think that for me which I have small hands uh, focusing knob on this side of the bridge of the open bridge would be better but for people who have bigger hands maybe it's better to have it here um, the focusing mechanism is made out of uh, really special materials also titanium and similar so it's self-lubricating and it works the same way in all temperature conditions you can imagine. It works the same either if you use these binoculars at let's say minus 20 or at plus 30. So a really good feature, a uh, uh, great sign of a high quality design and construction. Everything in these binoculars is really high quality, you can feel it immediately. You also have two buttons so that you can uh, scroll in all the menus to choose all the settings and so on. To make a short summary, um, I think that in this moment of time, 2000, end of 2015, these binoculars are the benchmark in the class of uh, laser range finding binoculars. This is due to the fact that optical performance is really great. They can be even compared with, uh, with binoculars of the top class without the laser rangefinder. Uh, the stray light and internal reflections are really well, um, well, how to say, uh, minimized. What is also great is that uh, even though these binoculars have a 56 millimeter objective lens, they are still compact for such a big lens. They are easy to handle, they are really ergonomic partially due to this uh, Perger poro prism, it's easier to hold them and they are not much bigger than 42mm models. Mm, 
the build quality is really great the eyepieces are well made and really high quality materials are used inside and outside what is also very positive uh, positive is that the measurements are really quickly quick they're extremely quick only 0 0.3 second, uh, seconds and you really notice immediately um, where is the room for improvement probably in size even though they're compact for the 56 millimeter objective lens here and there they could be a little bit lighter probably and a little bit smaller mm. I also think that maybe for people with smaller hands the position of the focusing mechanism it's not the best but either from that everything else is really almost perfect thank you for watching if you need any additional information please click the link below and visit our web page or send us an email or use comments you can also suggest any kind of reviews or place questions in the comments below of this video thank you